She's the daughter of Rapunzel. She's supposed to have really long hair. <laughs> Hey everybody and welcome back! So I am looking at the Dragon Games dolls from Ever After High this week today. Today for me, this week for you guys. <laughs> anyway, I am splitting this up into three separate videos just because there are six dolls in total and I don't want the video to be like super long. So I'm doing them all separately. Today I'm taking a look at the O'Hare twins. So we've got Holly and Poppy O'Hare who are the daughters of Rapunzel. In my last video I took a look at Raven and Darling. If you want to check out that video I will put it up in the, the i card up above as well as probably a link down below if I remember and in the next video I'm gonna be taking a look at the teenage evil queen also known as mirror shard and um, apple white with Brayburn. so if you want to see that video then go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell you'll get a notification letting you know when that video is posted anyway let's take a look at the twins today all right, so I am at that weird point of the day where the light is starting to come like straight in. So like if I get too close, um, I'm like in the sunlight directly. <laughs> so trying to figure out that lighting. I think I feel like I apologize for my lighting situation often. Um, and I, I do mean it. I don't want my videos to look like too bad. But at the same time, I'm trying to utilize the natural light while I have it. Anyway, so here are the O'Hare twins. This is Holly O'Hare. She is the one that has the really long hair. And then this is Poppy O'Hare. She is the one that has cut her hair and dyed it and like is wanting to be a hairstylist, I think. And also, if I remember correctly, I believe that Poppy was um, an exclusive doll for one of the stores. Like she was only available at Walmart or at Toys R Us. I don't remember which one it was. I'm not seeing anywhere where it says. It might have been a Walmart, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. But um, what was cool about Poppy is she also came with a little dragon. You could actually get, like, the baby versions or, like, small young versions of each of the girls' dragons. Um, they were sold separately. I never got them because I was just more interested in the dolls themselves, so I didn't collect the, um, the little dragons. But Poppy's came like this with her in with her doll uh, and all the others came separately you would have had to buy them uh they were like i don't know six bucks each or ten dollars each or something like that um but other than that it looks like for the most part these dolls are all it, it like they all include the same things so um but yeah so here is the back of the box. So up here there's like a little blurb and it says uh, Ever After High across the top. Things are heating up at Ever After High. The dragons have arrived but so has the evil queen. Trying to show that she's changed her ways, the evil queen brings back the ultimate hextreme sport, dragon games. The students train their new magical pets and split up into teams for fabulous fun flying into the sky. Or flying in the sky. Um, yeah, so <laughs> their little puns are kind of hard. <laughs> I tend to trip over them a lot because, like, you want to say the word that it normally would be, but then they add the puns in. So anyway, and then below that you have, like, some details about their dragon. So this is Holly's dragon over here um, with some artwork of Holly. And then over here... You You've got details about the dragon. So her dragon's name is Prince of Scales, which I think is, <laughs> that's so cute. I love that. And then underneath the name, it says that um, Prince of Scales' dragon magic is Hextra Strength Hair, which I don't know what that means, but okay. Um, scale color is bubblegum pink. Favorite food is cheese curls. Flying trick is tower dive. And special defense is tangled web. I love that like they put consideration into stuff like this they didn't have to they could have just put like this and then the picture and let let it be but i love that like ever after high gives depth to their characters i think that that's really cute and um the fact that all of this like you know it's different for each dragon so like you'll see here in a second for um poppies but um 
everything on here is like specific to like the daughter of Rapunzel, you know, like the, well, I don't know about the cheese curls, but the, the extra strength, extra strength hair, uh, the tower dive, Rapunzel's tower, you know, tangled web, you know, stuff like that. It, it's just like, I don't know. I, I think it's really cute. And I like that they did that. And I, it, I noticed the same thing for like Raven and Darling on the previous ones. Here is the back of Poppy's box. Um, up here at the top, it's just the same little blurb. So I'm not going to bother reading that. Um, here is the artwork of Poppy with her dragon, whose name is Brushfire. I think Brushfire is just so cute. It's just a little baby dragon. So cute. <laughs> One of the only ones that it didn't turn up into be a big dragon, I guess. I don't know. Oh, and that's cute. The tail looks like a braid, like a braid of hair. So that's cute. I mean, daughter of Rapunzel, right? And then here are the details for Brushfire. Brushfire's dragon magic is fire breathing. The scale color is lavender locks. Favorite food is hot peppers. Flying trick is cloud comer. And special defense is heat armor. So Brushfire kind of sounds more like a uh, traditional dragon to me with like the fire breathing and the heat armor and stuff like that. And then of course down here it says, now you can play dragon games at everafterhigh.com. Uh, I mentioned in my last video, I don't know if that is still up or not. I haven't checked, but that's kind of cool that they have like an actual game that you can go play uh, that they're advertising and stuff like that. I remember back in the 2000s when they used to do that a lot with like toys and stuff like that. Um, I never really did a lot of that because um, I wasn't the right age range for that because I think when a lot of that was happening I was in high school or just out of high school so I wasn't as much into like wanting to go to the Barbie Mycene website. Um, I did do Neopets for a short period of time. So yeah I'm gonna get these two sisters out of their boxes so that way we can take a closer look and I will show you all of their accessories and everything they come with. So I'm gonna be right back. Okay, so I've got them out of their box. Really quick, I just want to show you what they come with. So they each come with the classic kind of like old-fashioned key style brush. Um, they are both silver. They each come with a stand and they are the silver stands and they each come with a little book with their dragon on it. So this is the book for Prin Prince of Scales which is Holly's dragon. So if you unfold it you see the pictures of the dragon arena. And then if you flip it over, then you have some details. These are the rules of the game, of Dragon Games. And um, I was saying in my last video that it's kind of like Ever After High was trying to create its own version of Quidditch. That's what these remind me of. And then here, if you want to pause this and read it, um, this is a little thing that was written by Holly about her dragon. Here is the one for Brushfire, which is Poppy's uh, dragon. And then once again, if you unfold it, it's just got the same pictures here. Uh, it has the same rules of the dragon games, but here it has a different note. This is from Poppy about brush fire. So once again, I'm just going to put that up on the screen if you want to deposit it and read through that. So, and then of course, Poppy also came with brush fire, her little dragon. Uh, there is no articulation, so it does not move at the neck or anything. Um, it's kind of heavy. It's just literally a solid hunk of plastic. Um, but it's really cute. Uh, it's got a little bit of a wonky eye, <laughs> but that's okay. I, I didn't really buy it for the dragon. I bought it for the doll, so I'm not too worried about it, but this is still cute. And that's what I was saying. Like the tail looks like a, a you know, braided ponytail or something like that. So that's kind of cute. All right. So here are the dolls. And in my last video, I was talking about the difference between Royal and Rebels and how the Royals usually got the gold stands and then the Rebels got the silver. Well, their stands are the same color, but their armor and their shields and accessories and everything do show the difference. Now, even though these are twin sisters, Holly is the royal and Poppy is a rebel. Or really, it's she's wanting to choose her own destiny and hasn't decided if she's a royal or a rebel. And I think that just kind of like lumps her in with the rebels. So let's look at Holly first. Holly is so pretty. Honestly, she is one of my favorite dolls to collect, mainly because of the long hair, which about that. <laughs> um, each release for Holly has notably been having like shorter hair. So like 
when she first came out, her hair was literally down to her toes, the doll was. And then just like every release after that, her hair has slowly gotten shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter until we have that back to school one where her hair doesn't even really like go past her waist. So that's unfortunate because she's the daughter of Rapunzel. She's supposed to have really long hair. But yeah, I mean like at least they still gave her really long hair and it looks longer because it's in the ponytail. Actually, if you were to take it out of the ponytail, it probably would end up being a little bit longer than the way it looks right here. But um, yeah, she's supposed to have really long hair. <laughs> so that's kind of disappointing. Anyway, going back to her face, she is so pretty. I love her makeup. I love the color of her lips, that like coral color. I just think that's really pretty. And they have really, really pretty green eyes. I actually want to show you, since they are twins, let's look at their faces side by side really quick. I really like how Holly's makeup is a little bit softer and how Poppy's makeup is a little bit darker, a little more vampy. Uh, and it's a good way to kind of like differentiate the two. They have different personalities for sure, not just the hair length. But anyway, I really, really like this eye color, this like turquoise kind of green color. I think it's really pretty. Um, she's got gold accessories. So um, here is her headband is kind of like a floral wreath kind of style. This reminds me of the um, Spring Unsprung dolls headbands because they had a bunch of like the flowers. Moving down to her outfit, she does have armor pieces. She has this shoulder piece. And then instead of like a, oops, instead of like a middle piece right here, she's got uh, her like a belt that's supposed to be chains, I think. I really like that they kind of like took inspiration from her original outfit to make this outfit because both the color scheme and the design kind of remind me of her original outfit. I mentioned each of the dolls come with a shield. So here is Holly's. It looks so cute. It looks like little Rapunzel towers and it makes the letter H for Holly and it's shaped like a heart. And then it is supposed to be a ring for you. So I can wear it on my pinky finger kind of. But when you turn them around, they have this little thing right here. So the dolls can technically put their hand in it and kind of wear it like a ring, but then they can hold it like a shield. Here are Holly's wrist accessories. She has this really cool gauntlet with molded details. And then this is like a little wrist accessory. Like I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. It kind of looks like laurel leaves. Um, I'm not sure if that's what it's supposed to be or not, but that's just kind of what it looks like. And then coming down here to probably my favorite detail on all of the dolls, the shoes or the boots in this case. I love how these look like shining armor kind of style boots. Um, it's, you know, got parts that like look like chain mail kind of showing through. And then the rest are these really cool metallic plastic. It does have some painted details. It'd be cool if they had more painted details, but you know, I'll take what I can get. Here is Poppy. Here is Poppy's shield. It has a letter P for Poppy. And then her stuff always has like scissors on it and stuff like that and has more to do with hair. See, even on her like waist belt, whatever you want to call this thing, girdle. I don't, I don't know what it's supposed to be, but <laughs> it's got little scissors and like everything looks like braided hair and stuff like that. So here's her face. Like I was pointing out earlier, she has a slightly darker color palette for her makeup. She has one of these, um, headband style things as well. It's a little crooked. I'm not gonna take it out because it's like, it's got these little plastic stays kind of holding it in place. So I'm not gonna worry about that. She actually has four pieces for her armor. She has, uh, her shoulder pads are each separate pieces. They're not connected. And then she has a necklace and then her little middle belt section is a separate piece. She only has one gauntlet, but it does have some cool molded details. Here's her little outfit. I like how each of them had these leggings. They, they look really cool. And I love the whatever kind of paint that they used to paint on the details for the leggings because it's all like metallic looking and like rainbowy. Here are her boots. I really like these. They kind of remind me of Faye Thorne's boots a little bit just because they're like folded over at the top and have the laces and stuff. But they are definitely very different and um, they definitely look kind of have that armor look to them. Also, her hair is like helmet hair. Like it, it's super like gelled in place. Like I don't even think that's gel at this point. I think it's just straight up glue. Like they really didn't want her hair to move. <laughs> 
One thing I wanted to point out that I like about these dolls is that, you know, each of their outfits, regardless of which line it's for, whether it's like the Sweet Treats or uh, the Way to Wonderland or, any, or, you know, Dragon Games, all of them have like very distinct styles. So you know that it is their outfit pieces, which I like and I don't like at the same time. Because for example, um, I like it because it's cohesive. And even when you look at like Darlings and stuff like that, you know that this, these pieces are for Darlings charming. Um, but what's nice about a lot of them is they are neutral patterns. Like for example, Holly has this like leaf pattern um, and there's a special name for it. I can't think of what it's called, but um, it's that that really cool like swirly leaf print. Uh, and that's pretty neutral. I think any character could wear that. Um, but for Poppy, for Poppy, they always do like braided hair and like the scissors on everything. It's like they really want you to know that this, you know, this piece is for Poppy O'Hare specifically. And I mean, it, there's not a problem with that, but when I'm like making custom characters or custom dolls and I can take like existing outfit pieces and put them together, they sometimes don't look right because they have like a pair of scissors on them or a pair of shoes printed on the outfit or something like, I don't know how to, how to explain it, but I kind of wish that as much as I like the theming for the outfit and that it, you know, is unique to that character, I kind of wish they were a little bit more neutral, but that's also a personal preference. All right, so that is pretty much it for the O'Hare twins, the daughters of Rapunzel. Um, I really, really, I'm really enjoying this. Like, I felt a lot of nostalgia opening these dolls out of their boxes, and like, I am an emotional person, I will admit it. So I definitely felt the feels while I was trying to open these up, like, you know, just the, the type of closures that the box has, and I had a very strategic way of opening Ever After High boxes, because they had those um, plastic little tabs that are tucked in. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but um, yeah, I'm just, I'm so happy to get these girls out of their box because they've been in their box for like a couple years now, I think. I've had them just, you know, waiting to be opened because <laughs> I wasn't planning on opening them until I had them all and until I was able to do a video and then like... I just never got around to it until now. So here we are. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be putting these on that shelf. I'm going to um, put them in. I'm going to put probably put away the back to school line. And um, these are going to take their place for sure, at least for the rest of fall. Um, un until like Halloween season, I might put more Halloween related dolls up there. Um, but for the fall season, I'm going to be having dragon games up proudly displayed. But that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for for watching. I'm going to get going because I want to film this last video and hopefully I'll have this up in a couple days from when you see this one posted. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> if you like this video, you can let me know by hitting thumbs up. You can check out some of my other videos by clicking one of the links on the screen. I post new videos every week, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.